greet everyone and a very good evening. But first of all, could we all please stand up to do the scout toast to fellow scout leagues everywhere. everywhere. Happiness. Happiness. Good health. Good health. Friendship. Friendship. Long life. Long life. Skull. Good evening. Well, tonight we're here for Skull Patia in East Thailand. And where are we? Well, we're at the new premier flagship hotel in Patia, designed by Mr. Kobe Elbaz. He's the man holding the helm. But the man who's in charge on a day to day basis is the general manager. We're here at the Centara Grand Pratimnak. His name is Dominic Rong. Dominic, what a wonderful event tonight. And so great to see your premises at last. Yes, thank you, Paul. We we are very proud and very uh, excited to to showcase our uh, brand new hotel to uh, the colleagues hoteliers here and uh, industry partners. Um, I'm very happy and excited that everybody enjoyed the event. I think it was very successful and and thank you for coming. Well, it's our pleasure. You know, Skull was relaunched in February this year, and it's slowly grown. And uh, you know, we went from having dinners of 30 and 40, and sometimes, if we're lucky, 50. But tonight, I think we hit nearly 70 people for dinner. So I think there's a lot of people who really came to to see this wonderful new premises. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm I'm also very excited to see so many people here tonight. I think everybody enjoyed it. It was a great opportunity to show my colleagues here in Patia our, our new hotel. Uh, we worked very hard, as you mentioned, uh, uh, Mr. Kobe Elbas's property managed by Centara Hotels and Resorts. Very proud to have this stunning property and uh, I'm confident it will be very successful as well. You used the word stunning and I've heard a few people use that tonight, including myself. We got a tour of your rooms and they are, they are, they are just, uh, well, world class. I mean, everybody talks about Sintara Pratimnak and the aquariums and the aquatic theme that runs throughout from the, the fish that are in the, the, the chandeliers and the jellyfish chandeliers that are uh, suspended from the ceiling. But the rooms are very beautiful. There's a, an immense amount of attention to detail. Yeah. Now, I think we touched already a few things. We have these beautiful aquariums here in the lobby. We have this amazing uh, Fendi furniture here in our lobby and also in the suites. Um, we also have our um, signature restaurant, uh, Rufino, on the rooftop with our jellyfish tanks and stunning views there, here over the bay, here at uh, Pratamnak Beach. Uh, so we have, we have a qu uh, quite a few uh, selling points and I think we have a beautiful and attractive hotel, yeah. Well, you know, it, it's great. I mean, I remember when I came, I first interviewed you, not as part of Skull, but when you were doing a beach cleanup, which I guess was about two or three months ago. But by then you had your core team together and the building was still in its finishing stages. But now we are filming this in sort of getting towards the end of November on the cusp of the high season. So is it all action stations for you guys now? Yeah, absolutely. We... Um we officially opened the hotel on the 15th of October, so about now a little bit over a month ago. Uh, the hotel is ready. Um, we have a second phase. We have a second building that is coming, uh, I would say, the first quarter of next year with more uh, suites and club rooms. We have another steakhouse coming, and then we have a meeting room coming, and we have a beach, cl beach club coming. So, But that's uh, in the second phase, and that's about uh, first quarter or mid next year. But now we start with 113 uh, luxury rooms and suites. Okay. Yeah. Well, it is, it is really it is stunning. We've got the piano playing away in the background here. The, it's just hard to describe. 
as soon as you walk in here, it 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 gives you the well, actually it makes you feel like you're in a James Bond movie or something. It just exudes class, and as, as I said, the attention to detail, but also the service that your staff have provided. I mean, we've seen that tonight with Skull, and the pressure's on you a little bit because you have you know the GMs from uh, uh, the Amari and many other very good hotels in town. Is that is that quite nervous for you when you have these guys visit you, or are they your colleagues? Um, of course, they are our colleagues, and uh, as being a Skull member, we're all friends, right? Um, of course, it's um, it's it's very important for us to get the appreciation and the recognition tonight. To hear from my colleagues that they are very impressed and that they are wowed with our hotel. Of course, that means a lot to us, and uh, I'm happy that everybody was very excited about the quality in the food and the service. Of course, we have a stunning hotel, but as you mentioned, it's also the service, quality of the food that needs to be in line with that. And uh, I think the team is doing a great job. So. Well, I wish you every success, yeah. and uh, you know, as now as we're coming up to the high season, I'm sure it's going to be great. And then with phase two next year, this is going to be a hotel that a lot of people are going to talk about. And I know that from even just things like Facebook activity, the expat community are already very, very well. They're just delighted that, that this is this has sprung up, you know, and especially at this end of town, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we are excited as well. So thank you very much, Paul. All right. Okay, we're going to speak to the key speaker here tonight. He's a gentleman called Scott Michael Smith. So stay tuned. Thank you. Thanks very much. Okay, now our guest speaker tonight is Scott Michael Smith. Now, he is a lecturer at Assumption University, and he's a gentleman who's had over 20 years' experience in the hospitality sector, dealing from, well, all manner of things, including training, and how that's developed into corporate social responsibility. However, here tonight, he's talking about Young Skull. So what is Young Skull? Young Skull is, well, first we have to start with what is Skull, which is the world's largest tourism organization, uh, representing 21,000 members uh, in 450 clubs in almost 100 uh, countries. Uh, Truly a global organization. Uh, And what I love about Skull is... uh, you know, our, our, our values are, are peace and solidarity and, uh, and friendship and Macau. Uh, very easy concepts to get along with. Uh, Young Skull is, uh, it's, it's very simply the future of Skull, and it's as important as that. Uh, so Young Skull is a new classification for our Skull Club, and uh, we're talking about people 18 to 30 years old studying tourism or working full-time in the tourism industry uh, and again now Skull obviously you see here uh, they are the leaders of the tourism industry so young Skull we're looking for the future leaders okay. for the tourism industry yeah, the sort of uh, upcoming stars that's right the best and the brightest and we're giving them opportunities to to climb up that ladder of success faster uh, and, and that's what Skull is all about, uh, doing business with friends and friends helping friends. Okay, so, for example, you know, you mentioned in hospitality. So this could be uh, like an assistant food and beverage manager or something like that, right? Absolutely. And uh, I would imagine that we've always been a member gets member. We're a club. Again, it's uh, not so serious. You want to join? Come to a meeting, meet these people, and uh, and then you can apply to join. And uh, uh, we'd love to have you. Sure. And I guess then there's a sort of well, I was going to use the word mentoring, but I'm not sure if it's quite that. But they get to interface. I mean, tonight we have uh, obviously Dominique from Centenary Grand Pratamnac. Uh, Brendan is here from the Amari. Rene, who's <laughs> highly experienced from Thai Garden Resort and many other GMs as well. So it's a good opportunity for them to meet their, I was going to use peers, but maybe they're, the, you know, the people they aspire to be. 
I think all of those leaders you just mentioned, they, they do mentoring themselves. Now they can mentor uh, others outside their organization, which is exciting. Uh, but I think the mentoring uh, is one of the, the most exciting parts of it because it's going to provide rewards and benefits for both uh, the young Skull League and, uh, and, and for what I call the classic Skull members. Tell our viewers, what, what is Skull not? What, and what I mean by that, because people might say, well, is this the same as, you know, other, other uh, like Rotary or something like sure. this? And, you know, who can, who can apply to become members? Who would be accepted? And who are exempt? Because it's, it's not open to all. It's not. It, it, it's open to, uh, Skull is open to senior managers, uh, senior leaders in the uh, tourism industry. And Young Skull is going to be the, is, is for the future leaders. Um, so who is and who isn't? My students always ask me that because I'm, I'm always introducing a, it's a new organization to them. Although it, this is chapter four for my textbook, Tourism Organizations, when we talk about the World Tourism Organization or PATA, Skull is right there. Uh, so it's, gonna be, it's a great opportunity for them. Who can join? Uh, it's member gets member. So, so that, I think that's a, the key there. Obviously, the first thing that springs to mind is hospitality, but there are many other aspects of tourism-related businesses. But then somebody could say, well, you know, my business doesn't interface with tourists, but I help companies who interface directly with tourism, like a graphic design company. Right, and, uh, and they're always invited yeah. to come to the meetings. Okay. Uh, but we do like to try to keep the, as, as much as we want to be inclusive, we want to keep some sort of exclusivity uh, with the Skull membership. So it needs to be senior managers. But you're right, as the tourism industry grows and grows, yeah. uh, it, it's not. we're not talking about just general managers now of hotels. We're talking about... Uh, you know all the you know the entertainment attractions, accommodations, uh, tour operators, and uh, and government agencies, including NGOs, uh, all of them uh, could qualify. Okay. Right. Well, it's very interesting to meet you again, Scott. I've interviewed you a, a few times in the past, and I really hope that you know some of the GMs that were here tonight will start to uh, you know embody what what, you, what you've said and 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 sort of pick out some of those rising stars from the properties that they manage uh, and hopefully young skull can be launched here in Padia because skull was launched here when was it uh, uh, 27 1974 or That's something right, like yeah that. Uh, and then uh, and then it went through a period where it it, it wasn't really uh, happening it was relaunched in February this right. year, and we're doing great. Tonight, we had nearly 70 people for dinner, which is, I think, pretty good. It's I mean, you, 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 got all, you got all the clubs. It but wasn't that's the good. speaker, but that was an amazing turnout today. And, uh, and, and so much friendship and, uh, yeah. and fun in the room. I can't wait to go to the next event at, at Ingo's property, okay. the Pinnacle Resort. I, it's really it, it's a great opportunity. We're uh, Skull offers, and as part of this is one of the training programs that I've developed for Skull is the Ladders for Leaders program, which is really what we're we're all about is uh, is offering opportunities and, uh, and 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 getting identifying those people in the organization and helping them as much as we can to to grow professionally, to increase their networks. Uh, the, the benefits are just amazing. We have two young Skull Leagues here today that came down to Bangkok to show their support. Uh, and uh, that's just uh, just wonderful. Can't, uh. All right. Well, there you go. If your business is related in any way to tourism, well, you might not actually become a member, but you're certainly welcome to come along to any of the meetings. As we've been talking, our website and Facebook page has been on the screen. Click on those links. You can find out a little bit more about it. And if you are senior management in uh, a tourism-related business, then come along. And if you are a young person working in Absolutely. one of those companies, come along even more. Because actually, we're going to reward those students as well. Yeah, there's uh, the, the uh, Skull Patea Club. You're, you're discussing lots of wonderful opportunities for these future leaders. So I'm telling you, if you're working in those in a junior management position and you can see this video, 
please come to the next Skull meeting. I can't stress that enough. Okay. All right, we're going to wind it up. Thanks for watching. Skull will be back, and we'll be at the pinnacle. As I say, click on the link. Full, de- full details uh, will be on the Facebook page and our website. And we'll see you at the pinnacle again next month. See you again. Bye-bye. Thanks very much. <laughs>